Last year in the 2022 NBA playoffs, the number one seed in the West, the Phoenix Suns, who were, had a record of 64-18, were eliminated in the second round by the Dallas Mavericks in an embarrassing before Game 7 performance on their home floor, where Luka Doncic dropped 30 in the first half. Going to the season, the Phoenix Suns had high expectations again. They started out the season well, but in the last stretch, the last couple of weeks, they have dropped off. They have a record of 21 and 22, third in the Pacific Division and seventh seed in the Western Conference. So, in today's video, we're going to talk about what the hell happened to the Phoenix Suns. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Will. We're back again with another video. And I've just been looking at this team, and it's, it looks like they have a lot of chemistry issues, a lot of injuries also. They've been missing some key players. They got rid of JaVale McGee, and it looks like that's a big loss. Mikel Bridges is not the same player. DeAndre Ayton and the coach, Monty Williams, they are not on the same page. They don't like each other. You can see, you can see the, the interactions on the court. They do not like each other. It's proven fact. And once again, Chris Paul, who is one of the greatest point guards we have seen. It just seems like a lot of people just, it's just hard to play with him. Because even though he's, he's look like he's about six years old, he's up in the age, he's still out there doing his thing, passing the ball. He ain't scoring well for a bit. He would probably average around eight points per game. He probably put up eight, eight points, 10, 10 assists. That's, that's not going to cut it for the team. Devin Booker looks like the only player that's hooping for the team, but right now he is injured. This is a lot of dysfunction with this team, as I can see on the court. On the court, it looks like they're not moving the ball. It's one dimensional when Devin Booker, DeAndre Aiden, and Chris Paul are on the same floor. It looks like they're all one dimensional. It always looks like Devin Booker wants the ball more. And it's like, get everybody get out of the way. Where, where all three of them off the court, they look like a better team. Proven fact from the other game the other night versus the Warriors. When they blow them off the floor on the road. That's what I'm saying, y'all. The Phoenix Suns. Again, high expectations. Had a great record last year. Got eliminated. Got upset. Horribly off the floor. Luka Doncic just showed why he's him. And they was about... 50 in that game seven. Chris Paul looked like he was about to cry. I seen the fans. They were sleeping in the, in the stands. Devin Booker was getting embarrassed by Luka Doncic. And DeAndre Aiden just putting up mediocre mediocre numbers. Not doing not doing worth a bit or helping the team at all. It looks like the same pattern going on this year, y'all. My suggestions for this team. Because it's a lot going on with this team. I, they need to blow it up. They really do. DeAndre Aiden needs to be out. He needs to be out. He doesn't look like he's the person for this team. Chris Ball, I mean, he's going to stay. But it really, you can tell, you can just tell on the court the energy of these players. They don't look like they don't want to really play with Chris Ball. But I would say it's a lot of injuries too with this team. And Devin Booker is obviously the star of this team, but he, he, He's injured right now, and when he's on the floor, he's been hooping, but he's been the only person on the team hooping. Mikael Bridges does not look like the same player. He's been playing great defensively, but he hasn't been shooting great of late. And the only sharp shooter they really have, truly, is Landry Shamit. They need more shooters. They need more 3-and-3 players. I feel like they need to trade DeAndre Aiden. I don't think it's a great fit anymore. I think it, it just, the chemistry is awful between DeAndre Aiden and Monty Williams. Just look at the past couple games, y'all. Starting this year, 2023. L, 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 L. Not only the L's. Not only they got annihilated with the L's. They, have, they haven't they have scored 100 points in that stretch starting the year. Only once they did that. That's pathetic, y'all. That is unacceptable. And that's the problem with the Phoenix Suns. 
They get this team got a lot going on, and they they also selling this team. It's a lot of drama with this this Phoenix Suns team. They need a a refresh, and they need to regroup with this team because this team is all over the place right now. Right now, other than other than the Clippers, these two those two teams are the biggest disappointment so far in this NBA season. And the suggestion is, like I said, blowing up, you know, getting rid of DeAndre Ayton, getting some more help on the shooting, getting some more defensive players because Mikael Bridges might be on the block too because, yeah, he's been doing his thing defensively, but he hasn't been shooting the ball well. And they need a, they need a backup center. And Cameron Payne as a backup is solid, but if Chris Paul can't stay healthy, this team's not going to go far, y'all. I'm just like, it's not looking good for this Phoenix Suns team. Y'all comment down below what y'all suggest for what they need to do in order for them to get back to where they were, and then for them to actually go far in the in the in the playoffs, like they did a couple years ago and went to the finals. That team was really good, but they're not the same team no more, y'all. And that's a proven fact. That's all I got today for the video. If y'all like the video. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'm out, y'all.